Hey everybody, Luxinda Swirl here. Okay, new day, new cup project. Um, this is not a new idea. I will link to the original video below and the creator who came up with this idea. She's amazing. She has a great video. You really, <laughs> if you're interested in, in how mine turns out and you wanna see somebody else do it, definitely go check out the link I have below for her and subscribe and, and leave her great comments and she's amazing. Here's what we're gonna do. I have a prepped 30 ounce skinny straight. I sanded it, I washed it, I sprayed it matte black. That's where we are right now. I am going to mix up approximately 20 milliliters of liquidy split epoxy resin. This is KS Resin's fast set. So this stuff sets up in about two to three hours and I'm going to apply it to this tumbler I'm gonna hit it with a little heat if I need to get rid of some bubbles. And then I will go away and come back in about 45 minutes. You won't have to watch that part. And then I am gonna take this fondant mat. It is a silicone mat that has a texture on it that bakers use, among other people, to put fondant on to get a pattern in the fondant before they wrap it on a cake. Uh, chocolatiers use this as well for chocolate with designs. It puts designs in things that get that start out liquid and then get hard, so that's what we're taking advantage of. I will uh, come back in 45 minutes, as I said. I will wrap this around the tumbler, and then uh, I am going to secure a bunch of scrunchies up and down the cup to hold the fondant mat in place, thus ensuring we hopefully get our design set in resin on top of the cup. And then once that's set up four hours from now, I will come back, we will take it off and see where we stand and move on to the next step. So stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, this should have had time to set up. Harden, let's see what we got. I 
let's take this off and see what we have. Well, that is so cool looking. <laughs> I really didn't know what to expect. I've seen this done with um, sort of an irregular, it almost looks like an alligator skin type pattern. But this is, this is a much uh, fancier cake decorating type pattern. That is so cool looking. I love it. All right, so what happens now, as I get this off of here, I'm going to put a different, we have an interesting seam line, but that's okay. I'm going to put a different uh, arm in here, a little longer one. And I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to spray paint it black. And I'm going to let that get tacky for a few minutes and I'm going to bring it back here and um, brush on a chameleon mica. This is called Funky Cold Medina from Woody's Goodies. It has aqua, blue, purple, red shift to it. So this should produce some interesting results, but we don't do that until we spray painted it black and then wait for it to get tacky and Using one of our fluffy makeup brushes, we brush on the um, chameleon mica. So I'm going to take this outside and spray it, and I'll be back in just a moment. Now it's still wet on the edges. It looks pretty tacky in the middle here, so I'm going to go ahead and see how this looks to start. That is really cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. Again, I don't know how well the shift is showing up on camera, but holy mackerel, especially from this angle for me, which is of course completely different for you. <laughs> I'm seeing red and then I'm seeing gold. What else is it supposed to have in here? Aqua, blue, purple, and red. Well, that's interesting. I definitely get the red. I guess like this, I see blue. That is really cool. All right, I'm gonna put this aside to dry completely. And then um, the next step is gonna be putting the first layer of epoxy resin on here. It will take at least two before we can get above the, uh, the layer or the relief pattern made by the fondant mat because you want it to be completely smoothed over before you do any sanding or decals or anything like that. So it's gonna be a couple layers of resin and I will bring you back. You can see me work on that. Stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, I have two 30 ounce skinny straights going and one of them is this beauty here from our fondant cake mat tumbler technique. So I'm gonna mix up 30 ounces of resin to go on here. I probably won't need that much, but I'm gonna have it. And I'm gonna mix up a KS liquid stone resin because it's my go-to for just coverage on a cup that works really well. I'm gonna mix in some uh, Marabou rainbow alcohol ink. It doesn't really need any extra sparkle, but I'm gonna put it in there anyway, cause I love sparkles. And I will put this on and we'll come back and we'll see what we need to do next. And we're back. All righty, I, I ended up putting about 60 milliliters of resin on this cup. I had anticipated 30, knowing I would need at least a second coat. But when I got the 30 on, I had, I had only gotten about this far down, starting at the top and and putting my uh, resin on, pouring it from a little cup, I'd gotten about this far and the 30 milliliters I had mixed up ran out. So I mixed 30 more and that's what went on the rest of the cup. So um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of resin on here already, but it still needs more because it's still very, very bumpy. 
And if I were to try sanding it now, I would in inevitably sand off some of the actual um, fondant mat relief resin underneath and sort of ruin everything. I don't want to do that. I will, however, possibly sand. This is very ridgy at the top. That's just based on the design. I will probably sand this down and then I'll put a further layer on to try and get a smooth flat surface, probably sand again, and then it's ready for a decal at that point. So that's where we are. I think it's beautiful. I mean, I, it just, I absolutely love it. I don't know if you can see all the different shift to it. Plus there's sparkle from the rainbow alcohol ink I added into the layer of resin. It's got a green shift and a blue shift and a purple shift and it's just gorgeous. I love it. But I still have a ways to go on this cup, so we will keep plugging away at it. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, we're back. Um, okay, I finished putting the basically the second layer of epoxy resin on. The first layer was super thick. Second layer was more normal. And um, then today I, as you can probably tell, sanded it. <laughs> It felt like within an inch of its life, uh, it wasn't that dramatic, um, but it's much nicer and it's completely smooth. Uh, as you can tell, the sandpaper didn't touch these bits because there's no raised pattern there, so these bits feel lower. I'm hoping the final coat of resin, now that I've sanded all the other parts that stuck up down a little better, uh, will flatten out and cover everything in one nice smooth layer. We'll see. First, I wanted to put on a decal. Uh, normally, I, I don't. I mean, I often do not put on a decal because that sort of locks the cup into one theme, uh, and I'm not necessarily sure somebody's going to want to buy it that way. But at the same time, this is really cool looking, but it needs something extra. So I decided to go ahead and lock this one in. <laughs> By putting this saying on it, uh, all this and a sparkling personality, because whoever gets this cup is going to have a whole lot of splendiferousness in their hand, and you want them to know they also have a sparkling personality. So I am now at the point of actually putting my decal on. I've already got it on the transfer paper, and I'm going to basically work with this part here. Figured that makes the most sense. And uh, within the pattern, it's also kind of a center. It's not directly centered to the seam line in the back. That's a little off center, unfortunately, but I wanted to use this natural centerpiece type part of the pattern here. So, okay, so taco it, start in the middle, and then gently push down your vinyl. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I am going to take this out in the sunshine, put some UV resin on it, let it sit outside and cure for about half an hour, and then it will be ready. It will be ready to um, get its final layer, hopefully, of epoxy resin. I will put more Marabou Rainbow Alcohol Ink Sparkle in the final layer. So this should be a sparkling personality cup when I'm all done. Um, I will show you the big reveal at the end. Hopefully we'll get another sunny day and I can take this outside and you'll see it sparkling. 